Hi, I am Leonard from WP Staging. I will show you how to enable the WordPress debug mode and how to let WordPress generate the debug log file. This video can help you if your WordPress site experiences a fatal error, like a server error 500 or a blank white page. I will show you that on my computer. You can find all the commands used in this video in the article linked down below in the video description. We start with the first point, how to activate WordPress debug mode. You can enable the WordPress debug mode by editing a few lines in the wp-config-php file of your WordPress installation. Log in to cPanel or log in to your site via FTP. Use the cPanel file manager or your FTP client and open the file wp-config-php. Copy the lines below to the file wp-config-php or if they already exist, change their values. Over here you can find the wp-config-php file. Open it. And after doing that, we want to get back to the article to copy the commands. Open the article again to copy the lines and make sure that you copy the lines exactly as shown and that you don't forget any semicolon or other character. Paste the copied lines directly above the line that's all stop editing, happy publishing. Open the wp-config-php file and scroll down to the that's all stop editing, happy publishing section. Paste the lines and save the file. Congratulations, you are done. After reloading the website, from now on, WordPress will write all PHP errors into the file debug log and will save that file in the folder wp-content slash debug log. Always disable the WordPress debug mode when you are finished with investigating and troubleshooting your website issues. We hope that this video has helped you to analyze the errors on your website. Please leave us a thumbs up and follow our channel if you want to receive more helpful tutorials. Ring the bell and you will be informed about our new videos. Thank you for choosing WP Staging and thank you for trusting us.